Hi guys, today's recipe vlog is one of many versions of how to make a Burmese chili dip using roasted red chilies. So, let's get started. A few main ingredients we'll be needing are first and foremost, shrimp paste, then we need roasted red chilies and we do it at home. This is the type of chili, red chilies that we use. And then just pan roasted on the stove. And next we'll need lime and this is a must. Next ingredient is completely optional, dried shrimp, which I've turned into a powder. And now we have all our ingredients, including salt. The first step is roasting the shrimp paste and I don't really have a mini oven for such a small job but my main oven always gets the job done. I'm using tin foils and just dropping the scoop of shrimp paste into it. Technically, you don't have to cover it because the whole point is just to get some char out of this. Either way works. Covered or uncovered, let it roast for about 10 minutes. I started off with 8 minutes, but in total, I left it in there for about 10 minutes. And 10 minutes later, your house is probably smelling a little bit funky, but that's the shrimp paste. And there should be a bit of char on the outer edges, which is just perfect. And now it's time to make some magic by bringing everything together. It's like making a potion. A stinky but very delicious potion. I promise if you've never tried this, you will be addicted. If you can survive the spice, that is. So going back to the recipe here, you can see I've added the shrimp paste and the dried shrimp powder. If you don't have this, feel free to use MSG or mushroom seasoning if that's what's available to you. Then we're adding chili powder, the roasted chili powder. Add as much as you like. If you don't add enough chili powder, you'll probably just end up calling it shrimp paste dip. And if that's what you like, why not? For me personally, I like it spicy, so I'm adding a few more. Then the next thing we'll need is a quarter teaspoon of salt. And the very last step is squeezing in all that lime. So be very generous with this. This is going to bring everything together and your taste buds are going to be jumping in joy and probably water. <laughs> Mix this all up like you're mixing guacamole. Now give that a tiniest, tiniest amount of taste, otherwise you'll be, yeah, you'll, you'll be burning. Scoop all this magic paste onto a serving dish, and the best way to eat this is with plenty of vegetables, fresh, crunchy vegetables so that you can dip into it. So just pick out your favorite ones. Today, this is what I have. I'm using bamboo shoots and fresh cucumbers. And of course, freshly made jasmine rice is a must in our household and whatever main dish we have for that day. Today, I made some oyster mushroom stir fried, so this is what I'll be eating with. And this concludes the end of the recipe vlog. If you made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, it would mean a lot. If you can take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Other than that, I hope you're having a wonderful day, a great summer or winter, wherever you're watching this from. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.